new keys to our new home. And the first thing that will happen is we are very excited. We want to go out, source an ID, and get the place renovated. Sounds familiar? But that's not the first thing you need to do. The first thing you should do is to Welcome to today's episode of Property Insider. Today, I'm talking about something very exciting. Collecting the keys to your new home. Here we go, new keys to our new home. And the first thing that will happen is we are very excited. We want to go out, source an ID and get the place renovated. Sounds familiar? But that's not the first thing you need to do. The first thing you should do is to check for defects. Defects are something that need to be rectified by the developer. So check for your defects. Check for common things such as alignment issues. Are they closed? Check for finishing. Make sure that everything is in tip-top condition. So after you've got your defects rectified, you'll probably be very excited to go to the ID again. But that's not the time yet because you need to decide whether you want to stay in the house or to rent it out or maybe even to sell it. If you're deciding to stay in the house, then of course, you can go to the ID. But if you are deciding to rent it out, then an ID perhaps may not be needed. What will be needed instead will be to get perhaps the lighting done up. Next, to do the curtains. Lightings are very simple. You can actually go to a lighting shop and get your lightings done maybe in about $500 to $1,000. If you want to, you could even get ceiling fans with lights. When it comes to curtains, this is a soft and important touch because these curtains will give the house the feeling of a home. And that's what you want when the tenants come over or when you are selling it off. When the tenants come over, having the curtains gives it a more softer feel so that the white walls have a little bit of contrast with the soft touch curtains. Now you might be thinking, I'm selling the house, why do I need to do curtains? Do I even need to do lighting? Well, of course you can do without all these things. But having a little bit of tasteful lighting, having some soft touches, gives the feeling of a home, which is able to help you to command a higher price when you are selling. And that's why I recommend my sellers to actually do up a little bit of lighting, to do up the curtains, so that people can visualize themselves staying in the house. Now, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you find this content helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Jeremy Baruch Property. And I look forward to see you in my next video.